Hello to all my favorite people. I hope you guys have been having a wonderful December. I hope you're keeping warm and cozy where I am in Canada. It's, it's cold here now, there's snow on the ground. It is not fun, but it is toque season, so I have it on, I'm feeling good. Uh, I hope you guys are keeping warm too. Unless you are from a warm country and you're just like laying by a beach somewhere, I'm jealous, I'm so jealous of you if that is the case. Anyway, today's video, we are talking about what I keep in my camera bag. You guys have asked me to make this video so many times and I just haven't, so here it is, finally, we're doing it. And I have to say a special thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is, <gasps> my bag's really heavy. Peak Design. They recently sent me their new Everyday Backpack version two and I am loving this thing, it is amazing. So thank you so much to Peak Design for sponsoring this video. You can check them out in the link below. And I'm gonna talk a bit more about the backpack a bit later on. All right, so this is my go-to camera bag. This is the bag I'm gonna take with me for photo shoots, for just like photo hangouts. If something cool is happening and I wanna go capture it, this is the bag. So basically this bag is always on me 24 seven. I have it ready to go. So it has my most used camera gear in it and also the kind of random things that you might not expect in a camera bag but that I think are super important and have saved me so many times. So let's just go over everything. Uh, first of all, you gotta have a trusty water bottle. Um, this is a cool swell bottle. I like it, it's fun, get one. Um, in this side pouch on this side, I have a little tripod. This tripod I would use for things like um, putting a little light on, maybe putting a microphone on, or my second camera on. And then here on the bottom of the bag, this is actually a really cool feature. So it has these little straps, so you can strap another bag, a big tripod, literally anything you could strap onto here. So I've strapped on just another tripod here. The other thing that is on the outside of the bag that is always on here, in this pouch there's actually a great little uh, latch and you can attach your keys to it. What I have attached to it always is an Allen key. And guys, if you take one thing away from this video, I hope that is that you go and buy an Allen key or find an Allen key that you already have and put it in your camera bag so you always have it. This is such a little, a little tiny thing, but it will, <laughs> make you so happy when you have one and so sad when you don't have one. For most camera gear, this is gonna be the thing to do, but it has literally, when I have had a tripod plate stuck on a camera, this is the only way to get it off. So just have one, shove it in your bag. I like this little like rip cord feature so I know exactly where it is. And yes, easy access is a must. So we'll stick that back in there. Now we'll go into the sort of main part here. Now this opens up into the main compartment of the bag. So this is where I keep my camera. It's not in here right now because it's right there on that tripod. Hey, how you doing? Um, but my main camera is the Sony a7 III with the 24 to 70 G Master lens. That is my main setup. And the one thing you're gonna find interesting about my camera bag setup is there is no other lens. Um, I have other lenses, but I decide when I'm gonna take them. I try to really keep to my one main lens, which is the 24 to 70. I love this lens, it's very versatile. Uh, it's also very heavy, which is a big annoyance, but it's still a great lens. Um, so I kind of just have decided to just go with the one lens and, and just stick with it. So that is where the camera and the lens live. Really easy access right in that side pouch there. And then right up above it in this sort of little shelf pouch, I have my extra sort of camera battery pack, which attaches right onto my camera. This is like a cool feature of the bag actually. They have these like cool shelf design. So if I didn't want to take that, I can just pop that back there. Otherwise, I can have it out like that and then slide that right in there. Pretty nifty, pretty nice. I like it a lot. The other thing that I have on this side of the pullout, there are zips and pockets. So in the first pocket, very important, SD cards. So that's kind of that whole side of the bag. So we'll zip that guy up. Go on over to the other side. Now this actually zips up into the same compartment 
the main compartment of the bag, but it's just the other side of it. In this little pouch, I have all of my audio equipment. So I have Zoom, labs, anything I could possibly need to record either just like scenic audio or actually set up an interview with someone or put a lab on myself if I needed to do that. I also have my one extra light. This is a little loom cube and uh, it actually can go very, very bright. Uh, so you could just use this for lighting something for a photo if you just needed it on the fly. Also, I like it because it's sort of like a backup flashlight if you got lost or stuck anywhere. So that is a good little add on. So I know exactly where all of my audio lighting stuff is and it is in that little pouch. And then just here you can see, I actually separated my bag through the middle like this. So each side is its own kind of thing, but you could like organize this however you want. The next important piece, and this is in an old <laughs> fossil watch box that I really liked. It says, Tiger Shark does not play well with others. And you know, I just identify with that. Uh, but also this is a, good little hard case so I know I are always have it. And what is in this is everything necessary to clean my camera. So this is like my little first aid camera cleaning kit. Now on the other side of it, I have um, in a Ziploc, all my chargers, all my batteries, all that kind of stuff. And then in the zip pouch, I keep my extra little baby camera, Sony RX100 that has been through so much, guys. This camera has been through things. It's basically my camera that when things are, go bad or when I'm in a situation that doesn't look great, like, oh, I'm gonna go, I don't know, run across that river and into the lake and up a waterfall or whatever crazy thing. I'm not using my really good camera that I baby. I'm using this thing that, you know, it can take it. So as you can see, when you turn it on, it doesn't even, it doesn't, you have to actually go like this to open it now because it's like, it's fallen, it's fallen down mountains. It's had water poured on it. It has dents all over it. It's in rough shape. It has lived a great life and it has served me quite well. Um, but I always keep this guy in my bag just when I, you know, you never know. Also, it's good to have a backup camera in case anything goes wrong. So that's what is in that side of the bag. Now you can also access through the top of the bag here. So at the top part, opens up easily like that. Wallet, of course, lens filters. Uh, this is the Polar Pro landscape system, which I just have actually pre-built, ready to go. I can just put this on my camera and do that. And then I also have uh, a couple of variable ND filters as well, just to basically cover you for any situation. The other thing in here, again, it's winter. I keep a pair of gloves directly in my bag because I'm very forgetful. I will run out of the house not wearing gloves and then in about 10 minutes, really regret that. Now, this is the like necessity bag. This is the thing that like you really don't need in a camera bag, but like you need in a camera bag. Should I go through this whole little bag? I don't know, why not? Um, Tylenol, just have it. It's something you need, especially as a photographer, you're doing a whole bunch of weird positions and stuff all the time. You're gonna want it. I have hairspray in here, uh, hair ties, lip chap, deodorant, days can be long, band-aids, Kleenex, um, matches, a fold up hairbrush, a mirror, just basically all these little things that you don't really think about until that moment that you actually need it or someone you're with needs it. All right, so now we're gonna go through the last part of the bag, which is also actually one of my favorite parts, just because it's like a whole added bonus section. So there's this little zipper here on the back of the bag. It's kind of hidden, which I really, I like that. So when you open it up, you have actually quite a few layers in here and actually a lot of space happening in here too. So in the very back pouch, you can have a laptop, I have my iPad in there, my bag with all of my extra straps. So these can all work with the bag. You can put it on the front, on the back, you can have a chest strap, 
All of these like various clips and straps are in here, which are all very, very useful. The other thing I keep in here, this is like my attachments bag. If this was a video game, it would be like open attachments. Um, I also always keep a carabiner with me. Often what I'll do is I'll actually clip one right on the top of my bag and then I'll attach this to my tripod to basically use as like a makeshift sandbag. There's just so many ways to use those little carabiners, so definitely pick one of those up. So I keep that back there. I also keep a little knife back there because you never know. We got a notebook, pen, a little reusable bag, just because. And then this is actually one of my favorite things about this bag and I feel really smart and smug whenever I get to use it. So in this part, I have a rain kit. So basically a rain poncho for me and a rain poncho for my camera. This just sits right on top of the camera. You stick it inside and you can still use it. You don't have to worry about you know getting rained on, getting snowed on, anything. Uh, this is something that I have loved having in my bag. You don't use it a lot, but when you do use it, it's like a lifesaver. It is a godsend to have that. So that is everything that I keep in my camera bag. Let's talk about the Everyday Backpack version two from Peak Design. The first thing that I will say about this bag is I appreciate Peak Design so much because they understand function and they understand style. And that is something that is very hard to find in a camera bag. And trust me, I've looked for a long time because I really appreciate style and I appreciate things that look good. And it's hard to find things that look good and actually work. This does that, so I am very, very happy. It looks very professional, it looks sleek. I would be happy to take this to a meeting or anything like that. So it is a great bag aesthetically. Now, when we actually get to the function part of it, the things that I love that they have updated here is all the magnetic elements are great. So on the front here, they have this mag latch, pull it back, pull it up, and you have access into your bag very quickly and very easily. But at the same time, it's still secure. This secures really well into your bag to keep it there and you actually feel safe about your stuff. So I love that. It also has um, the magnets on the back here. So the straps just like attach right back into your bag. So when you're not using it, everything is nice and streamlined. And also it's very ergonomic. So it actually has these like swivels on the bag. So the straps don't dig into you like on some backpacks. This does not do that. It just feels really, really nice. The other thing is, is that I love, basically they make everything out of recycled materials. Everything is durable, everything is weatherproof. So all these zippers here, they are weatherproof. The other thing I really appreciate, which you guys saw, is the back pouch here that you can fit documents, iPad, laptop. I mean, I even fit a whole like poncho in there. Everything is still sleek and compact. They haven't sacrificed anything. They haven't sacrificed space. The two side pockets here that you can have your water bottle or a tripod in, this has a water bottle in it and I could still fit something else in there. So I appreciate that there's two of them and that they fit a lot. All of the inside pockets, like, man, I'm impressed. I'm super impressed with this bag. So if you are in the market for a new camera bag, I highly suggest you check out Peak Design in their Everyday Series version two. They have backpacks, slings, messenger bags, totes, whatever is your preferred style of bag, they have and they have the best camera bags there are. So definitely go and check them out. In the comments down below, let me know what you think about what I keep in my camera bag. Let me know what you keep in your camera bag. We can just have a little chat about that. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like this video, give it a dislike. Like, that's fine. I'm, I'm gonna be fine if you dislike it. It's all good. But if you did like it, definitely give it a like because that makes me smile quite a bit. Uh, if you're not already, subscribe, join the fam. It's fun around here. We chat about cameras, we do tutorials, we do fun stuff, so subscribe, why not? And uh, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.